What's up guys, welcome to a new video. It's unfortunately Corona time, so I hope you and your families are all good. We are fine so far, it's just a bit boring, so I decided to use the time to develop my LumaFusion skills. I want to share with you, so this video is about a new thing I created in LumaFusion. And um, so far, it's about changing the color of the background in LumaFusion. This has some requirements you will see in the tutorial later, but first of all, it has to be a plain colored background. So for example, green or blue, if it's grass or the sky. And I'm not only want to show you how to change the background color, I also want to create a transition out of it. And before we are jumping in the tutorial about it, Please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up and don't forget to activate the bell so you won't miss any video in the future. But now we are jumping right into the tutorial. Let's start with a new project. I have already have prepared those two clips. You want to create the colored background transition in between. So we are starting by cutting off five frame clips of the first clip. Of course, we just want it from the clip, not from the audio track. We can swipe over the screen to go frame by frame forward or backward and then simply cut like this. And we are doing the same with the second clip, so cutting five frames from the beginning. What we are doing now is we are duplicating the first three clips like this. The next step is to hide the top layer by clicking on the eyeball button on the left side in the control panels and double clicking the first clip on the lower layer to edit it. And now we are adding color. To add this color we have to go to the frame manipulation tab on the FX and then first we will select blue and what we are doing now is we are selecting the exact color for the dark parts of the image and for the light parts of the image. So we have to play around a bit with the sliders to get a good result. This already looks good. As you can see, we can add more saturation and so on. Now do the same with the second clip. Also double tap to edit. Go into the frame manipulation and add a color again. This time we are choosing old red, but we want it to be yellow. So we are sliding and selecting the yellow color. And again, playing around with the settings as we want a bright and saturated yellow, not this washed out yellow. So therefore, just play a bit around, play with saturation and brightness. Again, choose different colors. As you can see, we also could invert the image, but that's not our aim. This looks already pretty yellow. I think that's good for the darks. And this looks pretty good for the light parts. And as you might have guessed, we are repeating this with the last clip. This time we are adding actual red, but we want not this outwashed red, we want a saturated red as in the other colors. So just follow my example to get a nice red. This looks pretty nice. So let's go back and check it out. We have nice color change and the next step is to make the top layer visible again and add a green screen keyer to it because we want just the background to be blue, red or yellow. Therefore, add the green screen keys and the effects and play around with the settings until you get a nice transition between the foreground and the background. You can follow my example. This looks pretty good and we don't have to repeat this all the time. We are just copying the settings and pasting them to the second and to the third clip. This background color change is already pretty nice, but this is just the first part of our effect. In the second step, we are adding some motion steps to it by simply zooming in 
from every color change to the next color change by five points. So for the first clip, we go to 105 with the size. Of course, we need this for the top and the bottom clip. So we are just copying it and pasting it to the clip beneath. Then we are going to the second clip, changing the size to 110. Again, going back, copying the settings and pasting them to the clip beneath. Make it sure just to paste the size change. And then to the last clip, we are changing the size to 115, pasting them to the clip beneath. Steps and motion supporting the color change. To support this effect, we can actually add some sound effects. I already have prepared this swish sound. We can add to the transitions now, like this. You can easily download those swoosh sounds yourself. Just Google them and you will find them. Of course, we have those nice color changes and steps now, but there isn't an actual transition between the first and the second clip. So what we are doing is we are adding transition presets to the first and the second clip. And we are choosing in this case, my time warp transition, which I've explained in another video, which you can watch afterwards to create the preset yourself. And we have to add it to the first clip on both layers. And of course, to the second clip, just on the first clip itself. So the five second cut. And what this looks like, can you see right now? Just in slow motion, let's play it back. He has a pretty fast and cool transition. I really like it. And actually one of our, or my viewers, uh, sent me this transition, which was created in Premiere Pro. And I tried my best to replicate it in LumaFusion. And this is the result and I'm quite happy with it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any video in the future. And we will see each other in the next tutorial. Till then, bye.